Welcome to AI powered DevOps with AWS Life Course. And this is our second batch. And with every batch, we learn new things. In fact, this is not exactly a second batch. We have done DevOps before, but then AI powered is second time. Okay, now this course is a live course, not the recorded one, but yes, there are certain modules which will be recorded, but the main thing will be live. And this will be a four months course, and this will be happening in the weekdays, from mon Monday to Thursday. And yes, we'll be having three days for practicing, and of course, for relaxation. Now, the timing is 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. IST, remember that point. And this course has a lot of things in it. Now, if you go down, let's talk about the authors. There are two trainers here. Coming to the authors or coming to the instructors, we have two trainers. Our lead trainer is Heather Abbas. And he's an amazing trainer. You will get to know once you attend the session. And of course, if you are still confused, you can enroll for the course and you can ask for the refund in seven days. And if you are enrolling now, you can check the refund date below. Okay, so there are a lot of things to cover in this course. And in fact, it will take me a lot of time to actually go through the content and I'll get tired. So I got Heather here to explain all the things. So we'll make sure that you understand the tools and can work on it in DevOps. Okay, now when we say you, we will be doing AI powered stuff here. So of course, in the world of AI, we need to do that. So it's not just about mastering DevOps. It's also about how do you use AI while working in this environment. Okay, so just to reiterate, these are the details which we have, date, months, and the days on which you'll be having. And this will be an online live interaction sessions. Uh, but yes, there are certain modules which, we, which you will get in recording so that if you get extra time, you can watch those videos and master it. And this is where the course content start, but I would ask Heather to come on board and explain these things. Hello everyone, my name is Heather Abbas, one of the instructor for this course. And let me give you a brief idea, a roadmap of this course, what is ahead of you. To start with, there are no prerequisite uh, for this course. We are going to start everything from absolute scratch. How exactly is the roadmap is what we may have to see here. Now, initially, one week will be spending on generic fundamentals for anyone to get into IT industry. What are the important terminologies? Or what are the things you must know is what we'll be focusing on. For an example, what is Agile? What is Scrum? What is Software Development Lifecycle? How exactly softwares are built? All the fundamentals which is required to align everyone on the same track. Whether you are a fresher, university student, or maybe you are a working professional with some experience and want to understand development. Ops. This is for everyone. The major topics which we are going to understand here is uh, first Linux and shell scripting, the most important here. For anyone who want to get into the world of uh, DevOps and cloud, Linux plays very important role and so is the shell scripting. So we'll be spending nearly three to four weeks of time on Linux and shell scripting because the most important model after which we are going to start with AWS followed by Git and GitHub, Maven, Tomcat, then Terraform, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, SonarCube. These are the major tools which we are going to understand. So as we have discussed initially, we'll be focusing on the fundamentals then followed by the Linux and shell scripting. And once we are done with this, we are going to start with AWS. This entire course will be doing with the AWS cloud. You can choose any other cloud also, but in this course, we'll be focusing on AWS. Now coming to this AWS, we'll not be focusing on any of the certification. This will be a AWS crash course wherein we'll focus on generic, the real time uh, use of the AWS or for a DevOps engineer, whatever is required, the concept which you can uh, see here, all the major parts which you should be knowing it, okay? And uh, once we are done with the cloud computing with AWS, we are going to start with the actual DevOps tool. You'll be getting the recorded videos on Maven, Git and GitHub, Terraform, Ansible. We could have done that live also as it has already been told that this is not the very first batch. We have seen in the last two batches, the time will be more than four months if we try to do these things in the live class because the content is huge, right? So we'll be giving you Maven, GitHub, Terraform, Ansible in the recorded format. We will guide you when to watch uh, when you have to start watching that, we'll be uploading this content 
and if you stuck there somewhere we will be there to guide you you can ask the doubts in the live sessions on the topics which we have covered in the recorded videos right and after the aws actually it is the docker which we are going to start in the live class before that we'll be uploading these videos maybe during the aws or at the end of aws classes and then we are going to start with the docker we are going to spend good amount of time on docker and then we are going to start with the Kubernetes, the most important module for anyone to know if you are into the world of DevOps, right? And uh, once we are done with the Kubernetes, we are going to start with the Jenkins, CI, CD with uh, Jenkins, followed by the Sonar Cube. And we'll be building some projects. We will have pipelines, automated CI, CD pipelines. We'll be focusing on them once we are done with Jenkins. So in the live classes, we'll focus on fundamentals in the week one. Then we'll focus on Linux and Bash shell scripting, followed by AWS uh, crash course and then Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins. Very good amount of time we are going to spend on this alongside the projects, right? By the end of four months, we'll be covering all the tools which we have specified here, majorly focusing on Docker, Kubernetes and Jenkins. And also, as we have mentioned, it is AI powered. Every stage we are going to use AI here. We are going to use all the tools in order to generate the playbooks, in order to generate the uh, scripts, shell script, or it could be maybe the Terraform script or Ansible playbook and also for the debugging, troubleshooting and IDE integrated uh, AI tools also we are going to see. Followed by interview question discussion with the help of AI tools, we will see how we can use AI tools for the uh, resume building and for the troubleshooting and also to enhance the productivity as a DevOps engineer which is very very important. Hence we call this as AI powered DevOps with AWS right. Now this entire DevOps will be on AWS. If you want to learn some other cloud definitely if you have an idea about one cloud provider you can easily learn the other right. We will be focusing on DevOps on AWS. And once you learn this, if you want, you can do the DevOps with some other cloud providers of your own choice. That should not be a matter of concern. I hope you got the uh, picture. And after every live class, you will be having the doubt session just in case if you have anything to discuss with the instructors, with the mentors. After the class, once the discussion, live class technical discussion is over, you can interact with us and get your doubts resolved, right? So this is well organized and uh, well structured course. Three days or four days of time will be given on the live classes and three days of time will have for you to practice because DevOps is not just about learning. DevOps is about implementing, implementing the DevOps culture, right? So we are very excited for this course. I hope you all to see you inside the course.